Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Coach Snap and it being the best box slash booster pack slash fat pack you could ever buy. I did buy a few Coach Snap packs, but not many, and they were always discounted. So it was under two dollars. I think it was like one ninety nine a pack. I still have a few packs with the sticker on it. What you have to recognize about Coach Snap was back in the day there was not a single good card in Coach Snap. Uh, meaning, for the most part, the set had no value in it at all. In fact, it was so terrible of a set that when Alliance and Ice Age happened and a lot of players left, they axed Code Snap. And then only later, during when it was modern legal, did they put Code Snap back in in kind of a weird format. It was like an additional set that wasn't part of that current block. So it felt completely out of place. It was standard legal. However, there wasn't any good reason to buy it. So Coach Snap, however, has two uncommons. And when you're looking at the value of the set, for recent sets, you look at the value of the rares, not the mythics. Here, we have a very uncommon example when you have two uncommons that are worth $30 a piece. Uncommons. And that's not... Even in Alliance, you just have Force of Will, and that's it. But in this set, which was printed much later than Alliance, and at the time was always discounted, I'm going to go ahead and say I have probably a box in storage that says $65 or $59.99 for a booster box of this set. It was widely unpopular, vastly underplayed, and there was no chase cards in the set. But now... Look at it. I mean, you have two uncommons, two uncommons at thirty plus dollars. Uh, one of them <laughs> closing on forty dollars right now, and those are very. If you open a box, you can expect to get probably a playset of both. So you can expect to get two hundred and fifty plus dollars just from your uncommons, which is kind of crazy. Um, it also wasn't a super large set. It was. Um, so common to find these like i really wish i could go back in time and just buy them all up because they were always discounted on radio shack you know always discounted in every store um at the hobby store the magic the gathering store i used to buy cards from no one wanted them and definitely you couldn't have pinpointed the bobble the counterbalance you kind of knew was good but it took a miracles deck to make it really really good uh, which happened later in time. The bobble, I mean, just recently spiked in price. So when people asked, "Is what's the best boost pack I've ever opened?" It would probably be Coach Snap um, for pure value. I just have these lying around all over the place. I need to go in storage and figure out how many of these bobbles I have. I know I have probably a dozen or so of them. I just need to go get them out of storage. Bye, guys.